The Untold Truth of ATEEZ member Chung Yoon Ho. Chung Yoon Ho was born in Gwangju, South Korea, on the 23rd of March, 1999. His zodiac sign is Aries, and he holds South Korean nationality. He is a singer and a dancer, probably best known for being a member of the boy group ATEEZ. Yoon Ho was raised in Gwangju alongside his younger brother Gun Ho by their father, who was a factory worker, and their mother, who was a teacher at a local elementary school. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Yoon Ho became interested in singing while attending the School of Performing Arts Seoul, SOPA, and his singing talent was noticed by one of his teachers, who motivated him to attend a music audition, which eventually led him to signing his first contract. Although mostly focused on singing, Chung was also physically active as he played several sports including soccer and volleyball, also occasionally running and cycling with his friends, and he started going to the gym too. After he matriculated from SOPA, Chung didn't enroll at college, but rather chose to focus on his singing career. Before they debuted as 80s, the boys sang in the group KQ Fellas, named after their agency KQ Entertainment, which went on to create a series of videos for YouTube entitled KQ Fellas American Training. These featured the boys working on their singing skills in Los Angeles, California. On the 26th of June, 2018, KQ Entertainment announced the launch of their show Codename is 80s which served as an advertisement for their new boy group made up of eight boys, including Yoon Ho. It was soon announced that the boys would be debuting on the 24th of October in Yes 24 Live Hall. ATs released their first extended play EP, Treasure EP 1 All to Zero, which was the first of their series, Treasure. Boys performed live for the first time on the 25th of October when they were invited to appear as guests in the show M Countdown. On the 15th of January 2019, their second EP, Treasure EP 2 Zero to One, came out with the song Say My Name as its lead single. At the end of the month, ATs announced a tour around the US to play in cities such as Chicago, Atlanta, and Dallas. All tickets were sold out shortly after they became available on the internet. On the 20th of February, they announced another tour, this one around Europe, performing in cities such as London in England, Berlin in Germany, and Milan in Italy, among others. Once again, tickets quickly sold out. In May, AT sang at KCON Japan in Chiba, and on the 5th of June, then announced a tour around Australia. Five days after the announcement, the boys released their third EP, Treasure EP 3, One to All, with the song Wave as its lead single. They won their first award on the 20th of June when they performed in the show M Countdown, followed by their second award, first place the show choice winner on the 25th of June. They went on to perform at KCON 2019 New York, as well as KCON Los Angeles, followed by working on and releasing on the 9th of October their debut full-length album, Treasure EP Finn, All to Action. ATs also performed at KCON Thailand, at the Jindai Festa in Yokohama, and at Mnet Asian Music Awards in Nagoya, both in Japan. Before the end of 2019, ATEEZ's first Japanese album, Treasure EP Extra, Shift the Map, came out. They started the year 2020 with the release of their fourth EP, Treasure Epilogue, Action to Answer, which concluded their Treasure series. They were then supposed to go on their European tour in March, but which had to be postponed due to the problems caused by the coronavirus. Meantime, their first EP in their Zero series was released on the 29th of July, called Zero Fever Part 1. Away from performing, Yoon Ho is very secretive regarding his love life, but it is known that he was in a relationship while he was still a trainee, but that his girlfriend broke up with him because she thought Yoon Ho was cheating on her. It would have ended anyway because KQ Entertainment doesn't allow its rookie artists to have girlfriends or boyfriends, nor to drink, smoke, or party among other things. Because Yoon Ho is very respectful of what his agency requires of him, he hasn't been in a relationship since the start of his singing career although there were rumors on the internet that he was secretly seeing one of his female fans. As of July 2020, Yoon Ho is single, hasn't married, and doesn't have children. Yoon Ho is a huge fan of movies, and his favorite actor and actress are Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson, 
Well, his favorite movies are the Harry Potter franchise. He is such a big fan of Harry Potter that he even has a wand which he bought in Japan. He likes to listen to K-pop music the most, but is also keen on American pop music. His favorite performer is Paul Kim, Well, his favorite song is Every Day, Every Moment. Yoon Ho is a lover of animals, and his dream come true would be to visit the Los Angeles Zoo, while he is also dreaming about visiting Universal Studios, also in Los Angeles. He likes to eat snacks rather than big meals, and his favorite is potato chips. One strange thing about him is that he chews his drinks, whatever that means. Yoon Ho's favorite superhero is Spider-Man, and his secret talent is juggling. He is said to be the funniest person in the 80s, as he knows a lot of jokes and is good at making his friends laugh. Yoon Ho's best friend is Mingi. They have known each other for six years now. Yoon Ho's age is 21. He has brown hair, which he usually dyes gray, and brown eyes. His height is 6 feet or 1.84 meters. As of July 2020, the net worth of ATs has been estimated at around $500,000, making Yoon Ho's share close to $65,000. Bye bye! Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.